Hello, welcome to today's video. The name is Kafui, and today we are going to be interested in knowing the computer specs which you have or knowing the specs of your computer. Why would someone want to know the specs of his or her computer? Because the person would want to know if indeed the person had value for money. Okay, are you also interested in upgrading your PC from one to another and don't know what kind of machine to go in for because you don't know the specs? You don't know everything involved in that then this video is right here for you so in this video i'm going to be taking you through three steps in checking your computer specs so the first step is to click on your windows logo on your keyboard or click on the windows logo on your screen right in your bottom left if you are using the windows 10 or in the middle if you are using the windows 11 like i am so you click on the logo navigate to settings click on system scroll down to about and here you have the specs of this computer so in your case you have the specs of your computer all right so this pc is a is an hp pavilion laptop okay and this is the device name here is the name of the processor here is the installed ram this is the device id the product id the system type and whether or not your laptop supports a touch we also have the windows specifications the name of the operating system the version the date it was installed the os build and then the experience okay so this is one way to check your computer specifications let's go through the other way of checking your computer specifications that one is a bit much more detailed so we are going to do that through the tax manager so right click on your windows logo look for tax manager and select tax manager you can also use the key combination ctrl alt delete to call up your tax manager so once you've had your tax manager launched like i have over here you are going to scroll to performance all right so here we have details on your cpu your memory your storage and your graphic processing units okay your gpu all right so let's go to starting from the cpu so yes this is the page for the CPU. You can see all the graphs involved in the processing, all right, the graphical representation of the processor, all right. I know this is not the screen you're going to have because I have further displayed this into the logical processing units. So this is something you are going to have. You are going to have something like this, okay. Yes, this is the default representation of the CPU. Now to know the graphical representation of the logical processes just right click go to change graph to logical processes then you have the various graphical representation of each logical processor all right so this processor is an intel i5 cpu okay you can have that information displayed here with um, four cores and eight logical processes what this means is that physically you're going to be seeing four cores on your motherboard if you should open your pc but i would advise if you are not technically inclined don't open up your motherboard okay so you are going to see four cores and in those four cores are eight logical processes so that is what this means over here all right so here you can see the speed of your cpu you can see the percentage of utilization the processes the threads the handles and the app time this pc has been up for one hour and it's still counting all right so let's go to the memory here you can see that i have a 16 gig ram installed okay and also i've used all my two slots okay with memory available 12.1 gig all right now let's jump to the disk 
so this is an ssd from kingston which is one terabyte all right yes so you can also see the graphical representation of the utilization of this ssd all right right now i think is that a rest mode is not using much data so you can't see you can just see some tiny tiny bits of graphs scale here all right so this is information pertaining to my storage okay i have two storage systems so this is for the ssd and this is for the hdd all right which is also one terabyte okay so coming down to the last step which is the graphical processing unit or the gpu i have an intel uhd graphic 620 installed on this machine that is by default okay some of you may have two graphic cards one from intel one from amd one from nvidia what card you have okay so here yeah, you can have intel as displayed by this machine means that i have intel installed on this machine okay so now let's jump to the test step which will basically lead you also to the first step as it's another way of going through the first step so you just open your computer that's a key combination windows e right click anywhere here in the computer then go to properties it will bring you straight back to the screen all right yes so these are the various steps to know the specifications of your pc if this video was helpful to you kindly smash that like button share this video and jump right into the comment section start typing anything type i want to know your your comments i want to know your views okay so this is how to check the specifications of your computer